Ew, what is that? I know, it's not that one red dot everyone uses, it's a different one. Kill it. No, not, not today. Today we're talking about underrated optics that you're probably not using and that you probably should. And unlike the rest of my videos, I'm starting off without any silliness. We're going right into this with the SZ Recharge DX. This is a fun sort of circular sight with a fun little dot in the middle. It is very basic. I wanted to at least have one red dot on here. You can't really go wrong with any of the red dots in my opinion. I have had pretty good success with all of them, uh, except the little square rectangular box one. You know which one you are. But the SC Recharge DX is circular and accurate and open, and I don't see it used ever. I pick up a lot of guns in Modern Warfare 2, and I never see anybody give this a go. I've seen it on some variants, and then people usually take it off the variants because it's not the right red dot that everyone else uses. And, and sure, there are red dots out there that give you better sight pictures. Hell, there are underrated red dots that give you better sight pictures. But out of all of the red dots I don't see used at all, ever, I'm kind of surprised nobody's fond of this. I mean, one of the, the key traits of being a Call of Duty player is just using that one optic nobody else uses or just finding your favorite optic instead of everyone just gravitating towards the same exact red dot every year. And I like that this game has a ton of different one times options and this one is one that just I think is a little underrated and you should try it. But let's get on to the actual cooler optic. So the next one here is the Choreo Enforcer optic. I absolutely love Choreo Enforcer optic. It, there's something about it that's just so Nice. It is the hollow sight I wish the SC Lone Wolf was. It's not your traditional EOTech that you know you affiliate with hollow sights. I believe the only other COD game this has been in is Modern Warfare 2019. But this has the reticle that I like, that really iconic hollow sight reticle that we're all really used to. It has a nice wide sight picture, and it just fits really well, especially on bulkier guns like LMGs and SCARs. It just looks really clean, and I, I really like it. I don't know why I don't see it used. I do see the other hollow sights used, but I think because they're more iconic, that's why. But this one's actually kind of better. If they introduce a rangefinder version of this, it's probably going to be my main squeeze on a lot of different guns. And moving on to some scopes, we have the Schlager 3.4. This one's great. Like this is a 3.4 times scope, so not that much zoom. I think a lot of people go for the VLK 4.0. I disagree with that choice. I think that sight is way too narrow. It's also slightly off center, so not a vibe, not very, you know, not very vibey, not, no. Uh, this one kind of reminds me, and maybe it's because I haven't seen it in a while, but with the clear sight picture and simple design, it kind of reminds me of the Black Ops 2 ACOG sight. And I just, I like this one a lot. It's got a nice reticle with a red dot in the middle, it's really good for marksman rifles or LMGs that maybe you're not going to be in long distance combat, but you want something that's going to be a little bit better at locking down a lane and, you know, picking out headshots uh, at a distance. So very good sight, the Schlager 3.4. Again, don't know why people don't use this one, but again, everybody's lamer than I am, so I really can't blame them. Now, now we have to get into hybrids. The one I never see anybody use is the Angel 40 4.8 times. This is a 4.8 times magnifier against the hollow sight, and it has a target range indicator. So if you use Simthic.com and you know exactly what your max damage range is, whether it's 20 meters or 40 meters or 70 meters, this type of optic is great for that because, I don't know, it just lets you have a little bit more consistency. It lets you fight inside the ranges you like a bit more. That, and it's just a, a vibe. It just looks cool. It's neat to be able to see a rangefinder and a hollow scope. I, I, I don't know, am I losing any of you? Did you already click off? This is kind of lame, isn't it? I'm just saying, I never see this one used, and yet I think it's one of the best because you can go from a nice 1.5 to a 4.8, and of course you have the rangefinder, you have a good reticle. I don't know why I don't see this more often other than the fact that a lot of you guys are uh, pretty lame. So then we have to go to the Tempo Clear Shot. This is the only thermal hybrid thing on the list. It is a very clean, predictable to use hybrid with a five times magnification with my favorite type of hybrid optic where it just has a little counted red dot sight on the side. This is a little, uh, I think RMR, AMR, I don't remember what these are called, but either way, 
very clean sight picture. You essentially just have one of the best red dots in the game with the option for a higher zoom thermal optic, which is great when somebody throws a smoke grenade out or starts using smoke screens, or you just wanna have a little bit easier of a time picking people out at a distance, mounting your gun up and swapping over to that five times thermal. It's very clean, it has very predictable visual recoil, and I think that's why I like it the most. So that's the only thermal on this list, so don't worry, we're going back into cool stuff that isn't for virgins, and we're going with the Aeris Clear Shot. This thing is so cool, I'm surprised nobody's uh, caught on to this. This is a seven times, you could say, sniper scope with a top mounted red dot sight. This thing is so intuitive and fun to use. I think it just looks cool as hell as well. And it works. I, I use this a lot on like marksman rifles or battle rifles. It works really well on assault rifles too. In fact, you guys might start seeing this in more of my gameplays. Uh, I have found a weird amount of success with this on guns like the ISO and the M4 and the Scar L. So definitely give out the Aris clear shot. A shot, give it, give it a shot, and then you, you might like it. Now the next one that is underrated for good reason, the last one here on the list is underrated for good reason, and that is the Vigilant 30C Iron. This is, nobody's using this. And the reason nobody's using this is that it is unlocked from using the ISO, and it is not available on every weapon. I think you can use it on the AUG and the SCAR, I think maybe the Lockman? I could be, I could be, I could be wrong right there. I don't know if I'm wrong or not. I wish I could use this on sniper rifles. The only thing that hurts this scope is that it's an eight times with kind of a crappy reticle, but you do get canted iron sights with it. And I really like the canted iron sights that come with this. That's the only canted iron sight sight in the game. So I like it a lot and I use this when I can, when I want to look cool, when I want somebody tuning into my live stream to go, hey, what the hell are you using? I can say, well, I'm using the Vigilant 30C iron, of course. It's really good. I actually really like this one. I would recommend giving it a try, but that's it. The the SZ Recharge, the Enforcer Optic, the Schlager, the Angel, the Tempo, the Eris, and the Vigilant, they are all really solid optics that I never see being used, and I think that's kind of a shame because I don't think any of them are bad. Now, some of them might not be the most intuitive option, and I have several more optics for like other weapons that I would love to make a video like this on, so if you want a part two, please hit the like button and comment um, that you want a part two. And then also, if you have any optics that I, I missed here that you think should be on this list, please let me know in the comment section below as well. This type of content is not my usual, but it's fun when I don't really have a video idea and I'm just like, hey, nobody's using these optics. Why do I, I could just talk about the fact that nobody's using these cool optics and then uh, we'll go from there. But I have another list of around five, maybe even, oh, I might actually have 10 optics that I would like to share with people. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye.